Hello everyone and welcome to Dark Kings TV, your home for everything entertainment. Before you do any other thing, subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button. Also, hit the notification bell that is behind the subscribe button that is the red bell button you can see. That is going to notify you of our fresh updates. To continue to be a part of this community, please engage with our content by dropping a comment or two. Like and share everything you see from our end. We will be glad you do so. How depression made me abandon my family to Abraham Christ. Guys, welcome back to this channel. And in this video, like I've mentioned, we are going to be talking about popular Nollywood actress Dwayne Abrahams who came into limelight in 2003 courtesy of actor Bucky Wright. Now for the past few years she has been doing very well for herself. In a recent interview though Dwayne Abrahams has revealed something she has told no one and that is she has abandoned her family basically due to depression she shared that while her career is actually making waves, she's doing amazingly well for herself in her career something is missing and she's quite sad and that it took the intervention of a manager sam olatsuji who she refers to as big sam to actually get to the root of the problem in the interview so Abraham said that at a point all she would do is just cry and that she would sit at home and cry and cry and cry and no one to talk to anybody. She says that the crisis was so much for her and that she had to get a team because she knew that she needed help but she did not know how the help will be, you know. In her own words, she said that she knew that she was sick and that she was depressed. And if you know sometimes you, you need something and you just want to lie to yourself. I was living in denial. I was depressed. I was living in fear. I will just wake up and be sad for nothing. Even when people were around me, I will be scared, especially when they call me for something good. I will just be scared that something was going to come up. This was Tony Abraham's story about a depression episode with today in one of his interviews. She also went on to explain that she realized something was wrong, but she said that she wanted to die. And that was what she was hoping for. She realized that, okay, death was probably going to happen. Then something told her that she has a mother that she's taking care of. She has siblings. She's the last of a family of four. And so she could not afford to die. She had people who were looking up to her, people who believe in her and she could not because of them die and that was why she decided to stay alive but she still did not see the joy and the why she should be alive according to tony the depression eventually led her to abandon her own family and her friends she said that she had to call her manager sam olatunji big sam to say that something was wrong with her to tell him that she's actually sad and the man according to her even though married decided to give her all of his attentions and said to me you can call me any time of the day i don't mind i'm going to always pick your call and so she started to call the man anytime she felt like crying anytime she felt sad and that was what she was doing she also said that one way people did not know that something was wrong with her is because she was doing well in her career Tony said that sometimes she feels like there is something she needs to live for and that is her work because when she's in front of the camera everything changes for her she just begins to feel like okay i can do this and not just that but she knows that once she's in front of the camera she feels very good with herself and so she tries to impress herself so that when she gets back to the hotel or when she gets back to the room or to her house by herself she would have something good to remember and she would think oh yes Tony, you did amazingly well or oh, you did amazingly well you know on the location today and that is something that she should think about but that even that that it does not help but on the other way around as much as she hated that she was depressed she liked that she was able to actually do something for herself in form of working the lady that was born on the 5th of september 1990 said that 
she had a lot of mentality in her that she actually had to change and so she not only abandoned her family she also had to put away her friends because she was of the opinion that some of the people she was moving with were not helping her and that a lot of them are backbiters a lot of them said things that hurt her and they say things behind her that one of the things that for that drove her to depression is because she could not open up to anybody because she was used to you know opening up to people and they using everything she says against her and then she will hear you know her private stories about her she cited the example of when her marriage broke up her first marriage to fellow actor adeni johnson and then when she got together with shun wegbebe and there was problems you know in that marriage that a lot of the things that happened privately were reviewed publicly by people she thought were her friends and so she couldn't talk to anybody and not just that so she had to put away those friends because she felt like she, according to toin toin says that she is somebody who is not afraid to you know a portion blame to herself she because nothing is going to happen to her is not going to reduce her as a person that so she also felt like probably she is a problem to her friends she might be toxic to them they might be toxic to her and so she called them and said i'm going to stop being friends with all of you and she abandoned all of them and she had to get a team courtesy of a manager get a fresh team a manager even invited a counselor from the united states and that was one of the ways she actually got out of depression she said she had to change her mentality uh manager also introduced her to reading more books she said she always did read books but not as much as she does now the man introduced her to reading more books and so she reinvented herself she had to re-understand herself and she had to rediscover herself although her passion her talent has always been there but changing mentality changing friends changing family members you know doing something drastic as that in order to get out of depression was what she needed to be able to you know find the deeper part of her the deeper part of her that is actually quite passionate about her job and that is what she has done and how it has helped her and of course i think you can agree with me that it actually has helped her because she gave us a second highest grossing movie of nollywood in all of 2021 she featured in four of the 10 highest grossing movies in 2021 and she played the lead character for the past two years her career actually had skyrocketed and that was when she was also battling with depression and a lot of stories concerning her private life even her marriage to Kola Wale that happened in 2019 has not been devoid of rumors and problems a lot of people saying um so in Abrahams is the one feeding the man, you know, is the one buying him this, buying him that, and everything he does is courtesy of Tony Abrahams, and she's always had to defend that. So she says that's another thing that actually for that drove her into depression, but that now she's glad that she's out of it, and she's glad that she she found a family and people that could relate. Because at that point, according to Tony Abrahams, when she was going through these things, there was nobody to relate with accordingly. But that now that she's good and she's able to you know speak about it, when someone else says, oh yes, I'm in the industry also and i relate to what you're trying to say she finds and takes solace in that situation anyways guys that's the story about Tony abraham she says that she was depressed and she abandoned a family and then she told told the story of how she finally got out of depression and how she's been able to work on her career also i hope you enjoyed this story if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel it is free to do so and i will see you in the next one bye